Hello, this is John Small again. I'm, this is uh, Train Up Your Children. This is part three. I'm going to start in Proverbs 20. Alright, Proverbs 20. Proverbs 20, 30. The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil. So do stripes, the inward parts, inward parts of the belly. The blueness of a wound. I wonder what that is. It says here to cleanse the wave. See, now the facts and all the other all that crowd and the feminist crowd, they don't like that. You know, they don't want to talk about using any kind of rod or hurting anybody. You know, give them any kind of a what I was what I call it is a whooping or spanking or kick or some of the older ones got beat. See, you look at so you look at some of these people that were raised up back in the uh, the times of the depression and before. Before we come up with all this uh, psycho battle stuff, all this uh, ADHD, and we got better ways to raise your kids, and this super nanny, and and uh, time out, and all this kind of garbage. You go back to that time, before that, and they and, the, and where the uh, parents just bit their kids. You notice that the the kid that that, that thing people today are a whole lot better citizens than the, than all the these uh, young kids today. That man, they they have more morals about their cell. If they have, you know, they have more morals. They're better citizens. Today we got a bunch of rebels. They ain't, they, they ain't had no discipline at all. So they have, they're just a bunch of rebels. Proverbs twenty twenty. Whoso curses his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. Proverbs nineteen. Proverbs nineteen eighteen. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. Yeah, that child's going to be crying when you chasten them. It's called chasing, too. They're going to be crying when you chasten them. So, but it just says, it tells you don't spare for it. Don't spare them because of that. Don't, just don't pay attention to the crying. What you're, you're doing it for their own good. Proverbs 19, 13. A foolish son is a calamity of his father. And the contentions of a wife are a continual dropping. I'm focusing on the first part there right now. A foolish son is a calamity of his father. Proverbs. Let's see. Proverbs 17. Proverbs 17, 21. Proverbs 17, 21. He that begetteth a fool doeth it to his sorrow, and the father of a fool hath no joy. Verse 15. Let's see. Verse 15, 20. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despiseth his mother. Proverbs 13. Proverbs 13. Let's see. Proverbs 13, 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. How about that one now? That's a strong one right there. He that loveth, he that spareth his rod hated the son. If you don't use the if you don't use a rod on your child, if you don't use the rod or even correct your children, you hate your kids. Don't don't tell me that you know I never oh I never spank my kids. I love them. No you don't you hate them. The Bible says you hate them. It doesn't say you love them. It says you hate them. You you don't need to have your children. They're gonna grow up they're gonna be they're gonna grow up and they're gonna be a bunch of messed up kids because you didn't never discipline them and correct them in anything. You didn't care. You shown you didn't care about them. Deep down, I'm sure they want discipline. So now, people don't think, oh, no, they don't. They want, yeah, they know that they know that you don't care about them. You, they, they do something wrong, you don't even correct them. They know they don't care. They want somebody to, to, to correct them because they know that you don't really care. But he that loveth them, chasteneth them betimes. That word betimes there means early. 
It means early. You start early. You don't you don't do it. You don't wait till they're 15 years old and then say, "Oh, I'm going to start chasing them." So no, you're not. It don't work that. It don't work too well that way. You start early. Proverbs. Proverbs, let's go with Proverbs 7. Proverbs 7 is, is, is talking mostly about, it's talking about following, uh, talk, Solomon's talking to his son and telling him to, to, to do what he tells him, keep his commandments and his words and, uh, and keep wisdom and, and everything. And then, and then he goes and talks about, in, in his context of a strange woman or a whore. So that's what, that's what they were called in the Bible. And then he goes by and talks about what a whore's like and talks about how he saw a young man that was void of understanding and a simple man. That basically was kind of dumb and off and didn't really know anything and was ignorant and got and that she was able to entice him and bring him into and, and take him into her house. And he was telling him and he was telling his sons that if you do what I tell you to do and you follow my commandments and listen to me, I can I can save you a lot of trouble. That that's what that's what the correction's for. It's to keep you out of trouble. See, and a lot of people don't want to take the time to do that, you know, because I don't know if I really need to do that now. You know, it's kind of a waste of time. People think it's correcting their sons waste time, or they think that uh, they think that all this new stuff will, will do it. They don't need to actually. They don't need to actually do it any much anything themselves. You know, oh, we can just put them in time out. Yeah, ooh, time out. Ow. Uh, we can just uh, take away their stuff. That'll be. That'll make it bad. Oh yeah, that'll that'll hurt them so bad. They'll eventually get it back. No, that's not going to work. You need to use what the do what the Bible says, and everything will be fine. Use it right. You, you, rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. And it's and you have to use a good right balance of them too. You don't just use one all the time, or use the other one all the time. You don't just use all rod or use all reproof. You use both of them. Sometimes just the rod, sometimes just reproof, sometimes both. You have to have enough discernment to know. You have to use discernment to know which one's which, which one needs to be used. Alright, part four, I'll start in chapters, Proverbs chapter seven.